This is an ABC News special report. Now reporting, David Muir. Good evening again, everyone. We're coming back on the air briefly here after what has already been a very difficult day in Memphis. That community and the country is now getting the first look at that disturbing police body camera video of what authorities say is the police beating of Tyree Nichols following a traffic stop near his home 20 days ago. As we've been reporting, he died of his injuries in the hospital three days later. The Nichols family and police have been pleading for peaceful protests while recognizing the anguish and outrage among so many, hoping that preparing the community would in some way help here. Now, the video coming in now, it is very difficult, and we're going to not show very much of this, but this is what our team has been able to screen so far. The first video is of Nichols being pulled into the car. Damn, I didn't do anything. Hey, I didn't turn your ass around. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's the first video. Again, he was being pulled out of the car, and obviously we had to bleep some of the audio there. Uh, but that was the moment he got pulled from the car initially after the, the stop. Now, the next video is of Nichols on the ground being pepper sprayed, uh, calling out for his mother. Uh, here it is. Hey, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Give me a hand. You want to get sprayed again? Hey. Hey, hey Mike. Give me a hand. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Oh. Oh. Give me a hand. Okay. Give me a fucking hand. Give me a hand. Okay. All right. We should note that there is more than an hour of video, 67 minutes worth, multiple police body cameras. Tyree Nichols' family has already viewed the images earlier this week, saying uh, that it showed the officers brutally beating their son. His mother was unable to watch. She had to leave the room. The officers fired, now charged with second-degree murder, among other charges as well. And they had claimed that he was initially pulled over for alleged reckless driving uh, before running from the car. The police chief, though, saying so far they have found no proof that he should have been stopped. FBI Director Christopher Ray saying he watched the video and was, quote, appalled by it. Those five former police officers now facing several charges, including murder, Justin Smith, Desmond Mills Jr., Emmett Martin the third, Demetrius Haley, and Tadarius Bean. Attorneys for Mills and for Martin have said they will plead not guilty. The White House says President Biden has not yet seen the video, but he did speak to the family. He offered his condolences, commending their, quote, courage and strength. I want to bring in Stephanie Ramos. She's live in Memphis tonight. Stephanie, they have been urging calm. We're getting reports of some protests already, which, of course, was expected. Absolutely, David. The people here in Memphis are upset. They're upset over this video. This 29-year-old man, uh, unarmed, stopped by police, and then, as we can see in that video, beaten on the ground until he's unconscious, as you said, dying three days later. And we heard from Tyree Nichols' family earlier today, his mother, understandably emotional, wiping away tears and urging for peace, saying that if there are protests here in Memphis or across the country, she asked she was asking for them to be peaceful. Again, we are seeing them here tonight. So far, not violent. But as you mentioned, Tyree Nichols' mother uh, saying that she hasn't been able to watch that video, says she hasn't been able to grieve the loss of her son. And it's just devastating for her to know that he was calling out for her just a few yards away from their home. David. Stephanie Ramos from Memphis at this hour. Stephanie, thank you. We should point out that Ben Crump, the attorney for the family earlier today, as you look at uh, the peaceful protests out of Memphis at this hour, earlier today, Ben Crump said it doesn't matter if the officer is a black officer, a Hispanic officer, or a white officer. It is the culture that allows them to think they can do this to Tyree. Those words from Ben Crump. I want to bring in our Chief Justice Correspondent Pierre Thomas uh, for his thoughts on what you've seen Pierre uh, play out here in Memphis tonight. David, I've had the opportunity to be out with police on numerous law enforcement actions. Uh, it's clear that this is not police work. This is brutal. And law enforcement officials today in charging these men with second degree murder and also kidnapping. Think about that, kidnapping. They're essentially saying they took this man against his own will. And to see him punched and beaten and tased repeatedly, 
again, this does not resemble anything that is legitimate law enforcement work. And I can tell you tonight, law enforcement across this country in cities, major cities across this country, are hoping that the pain that the people in Memphis are feeling and in cities across this country, that they can use it constructively to peacefully protest for change. Uh, in many cities, police, unfortunately, are viewed as the occupying force. Uh, this will only reinforce that. David, I spoke with a very senior law enforcement official tonight who is aware of this video, and he said this could set law enforcement back for many years, that the notion that they're there to protect and serve is destroyed by images like this, David. And Pierre, you and I were talking earlier today on this notion, before we go here, on this notion of what Ben Crump said, that it does not matter the color of your skin, uh, whether you're a black officer, Hispanic officer, white officer, that this, uh, in their words, uh, is brutality, uh, this awful uh, police beating that now is being seen by, by so many people. But he also said, given the speed with which authorities acted in this case, that he and the family hopes that this now will be the blueprint moving forward in other cases like this where there exists uh, extreme and graphic police body cam. Right. He, the point he's making is that in so many of the other cases, there have been weeks and months to go by before any action was taken by the part of prosecutors or the police in some cases. And he's saying when you have a video that is this clear cut, you have to, for the sake of the community, take quick action. And that we will see if that will be the standard going forward. Um, it just remains to be seen, David. Pierre Thomas in Washington tonight. Pierre, thank you. And we're just getting word from the White House at this hour that the president uh, is deeply pained, outraged ever, after having had the opportunity to now view this video himself, the police video now released in Memphis. Our coverage continues on ABC News Live, abcnews.com, and of course we'll have much more later tonight on Nightline. For many of you, World News Tonight continues, uh, and in the West we'll have a, another edition of World News Tonight for you, given the late developments here today. We'll see you in the West shortly. Good night. This has been a special report from ABC News.